Hi there, uh, Gareth here again. This is a different kind of video where I'm going to explain a difference between three things, the similarity between these three things. And these are things that people often judge someone's language ability on and why one would be fair and one wouldn't be fair. So we have accent, dialect, and we have pronunciation as three things that I'm going to mention in this video. Accent, I will start with. You get your accent where you grow up. I grew up in a city called Leeds in Yorkshire. I have a Yorkshire accent. My accent will be present whatever language I would speak. French at school, Portuguese here. I sound different. People are unfamiliar with my region here, so they wouldn't notice. They would notice that I am from another country, but wouldn't be able to locate necessarily. So that's a uh, that's accent. So if you are learning English and you're worried about having an accent, I wouldn't be because your accent was developed while you were a child uh, to a teenager. So if you've lived in a non-English speaking country all that time, you'll not have an accent like somebody from an English speaking country. Um, I, I find that some Brazilians, uh, which are most of the students I have, have an almost American sounding accent. That can be the location or the accent they've been taught in. Uh, you hear many Europeans probably sound more British than American when they, uh, well, British people are Europeans, other Europeans, okay, uh, probably sound a bit more British than American just because of the teachers they would have had. Okay, so accent you can't really control without moving house as a child, which you wouldn't control anyway, it'd be your parents. Okay, uh, dialect is something a bit different from accent. Uh, your dialect you can control a bit, but you would learn your dialect where you live as well. Um, I probably am more familiar with Bahia's dialect, uh, North East Brazil, for anybody who doesn't know Brazil well, it's watching my video. Uh, their dialect's very different. It's the same language people speak in Portugal or Angola or somewhere else that's a Portuguese speaking country. But the dialect's different. Some of the phrases are different. General way of speaking's different. My region of England has its own dialect as well as accent. There are certain phrases we use and there are some words we would use that are very specific and local. So we have our own dialect. The thing is, uh, if you're teaching English using a dialect, um, I avoid, I would use standard English. Um, there's different dialects in the US as well. Uh, you, use, you use dialects a lot while you're teaching English, you'll just confuse your students because a dialect's different in every country. Even different parts of different countries have different dialects. So this is something you could learn and you could uh, pick up when you are somewhere. It's not what I would recommend teaching because it's very local and specific. Pronunciation. This one is uh, a big deal out of all three of them. Uh, incorrect pronunciation is incorrect. You've said the wrong thing quite often. It'd be a different word. Pronunciation's fairly standard throughout all English speaking countries. There are a few differences between Britain and America. Uh, we would say roots, they would say routes. That is one of uh, example it's very strange to me but um uh data in britain they say data in the usa also strange to me but that's how they talk that's a i wouldn't uh, tell a student either way is wrong i would just say the british way because that's how i've always talked my whole life i would just say ah oh, in britain it's this america it's that it's up to you uh depends who you're talking to but i still understand the difference but the difference in pronunciation are very negligible in comparison to other differences uh, so focusing out of these things uh, there is such thing as correct pronunciation and incorrect pronunciation as for accent and dialect that varies so much between different people i wouldn't make it a focus so people who are like i really want an accent from a certain country focus on good pronunciation and that is all uh, if you live in a certain area you would pick up a local dialect maybe over time uh, I think I have when I speak Portuguese, it probably sounds a bit like strange by ear with a weird accent. It probably does, but 
uh, focusing on trying to have an accent of somewhere is only useful to you if you're an actor. If you've got any comments or questions, uh, please put them in the chat. Please like and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.